Hi, welcome to this EBS50 quick overview and I would like to show you one of our new innovations, the cloud dashboard. In the EBS50 tutorials, I've talked about the default dashboard page that you see when you log into the new ESL server web application. It is a single point of entry that shows you all of the statuses that are important to this system. How are the ESLs doing, the base stations, and the database. Now, some of you may have watched those videos and started wondering, well, yeah, but I have more than one store where I want to run this EBS50. Do I need to log into every single store's EBS50 to find out how the system is doing? Well, we've got a new innovation for that, the cloud dashboard, which, as the name suggests, takes this information off the dashboard of an EBS50 and sends it to a central location where you can make all of your EBS50s push their latest information so that you can see on one single page how your system is doing. So let's take a quick look at the cloud dashboard. Now this is an actual running cloud dashboard online right now, the eslcloud.opticon.com. It's protected with a password. So for this tutorial, I've created the tutorial admin at opticon.com and I can log in with the password. And it tells me on this front page, there are no connected ESL server instances. That's right, we're going to connect one to it. As we are an admin, we can also take a look at the client pools. Client pools are basically logical units of stores. For instance, I want all stores of this region to talk to this cloud dashboard, or if you're not interested, you can just have one client pool and use it for everyone. So there are a couple of members. There's also a tutorial user. The tutorial user is only allowed to view this uh, statuses page and is not allowed to mess around with the client pool because I can now edit the client pool, add users, remove users, change the API key that gives us access to the system. Well, let's not mess around with any of that. Let's just connect our ESL server to this cloud. So this is the API key that gives us access to the system. So on the EBS 50, we go to the page advanced cloud. And there we are greeted with a uh, setup screen. We can say we want to activate cloud status posting. We want to post that to eslcloud.opticon.com. We give in the API key that we have on the cloud and every 10 seconds by default, we will send information to the cloud. Now we want to be able to know what system is pushing the data so we can give it a human readable name so we know exactly who it is. And this is the EBS 50 from the tutorials. And if I press save, the new connection is being set up. The connection is successful and the settings have been stored. I can close this screen. This updates. And if we now go to the cloud dashboard, we can see, hey, the status is being sent to the dashboard. And all of the settings that we have here are also available here. So how are our ESLs doing? Um, how are, are our base stations doing? How is our database doing? What type of database is it? What, what amount of products are in there? And as you can see, it all matches. Now, the beauty of this is, this one is already saying, yeah, there's a warning. There are a couple of uh, ESLs with low batteries, and this one says so too. There are a couple with low batteries and one with a weak signal. And the base stations are currently okay. But what would happen if I now take one of the base stations offline? I take away the plug, and any second now, the ESL server will be the first one to notice because it's supposed to communicate with that base station. And in a couple of seconds, it will realize, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to send information to him and, and get some info, but uh, there's an issue. And soon after, 
it will also tell the cloud that there is an issue and you as an end user will not have to visit the actual uh, EBS 50. You can get the information already from this cloud dashboard. So as you can see, on the right is our actual live system. There are two base stations and one is offline. That is a big error because it also means that some of our ESLs are no longer available since they were connected to that base station which is now offline. So this status is turned to red and this status is turned to red. And now we know that the system that we call EBS 50 from the tutorials needs to be updated. And that, in a very quick overview, is the function of the cloud dashboard and how to connect with it. A full episode on the cloud dashboard and how to use it and how to set it up yourself will be available very soon. If you want to use the uh, Opticon cloud dashboard, you can contact our sales department for the possibilities. All of the information to contact the sales department and all of the links to the other video tutorials on the EBS 50 and the new ESL server are available.